Elgato is owned by Corsair Gaming. Corsair Gaming acquired Elgato about midway through 2018. Um, Elgato itself is a company that I kind of recognize as the leader behind capture card te technology. Back when I was a teenager, everybody that I used to watch used to use one. You know, you got Pomage, T Martin, Nade Shot, Big Timer. You know, like all those kind of OG gamers. They're all using Elgato. On October 29th, Elgato announced that it was going to be acquiring, or it did acquire, Epocam, or Ep Epocam, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, Epocam, uh, they're, they're a software developer for their self-named app, Epocam, or Epocam, wh wh whichever you prefer. So the Epocam allows you to stream as a webcam through your phone. You have access to a couple of different apps, you know, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, OBS, and then a handful of others. Kicker is it's only available on the Apple App Store currently. Uh, the app is $8 American, or that's about $10.65 Canadian. Um, but there is a free version available on the App Store. The most notable differences between the two are a decrease in the resolution and there is a mandatory watermark that comes with it. Here's kind of a side-by-side -side of the two of them. So this is sort of important because for anyone who wants to take a stab at content creation but can't really afford the bells and whistles that most larger influential content creators might have, this is kind of like a solution for them because instead of having to buy a hundred dollar webcam like I did, they have this $10 app that they can use without any other overhead. All, like other, all they have is their phone. I, you do have to find a way to like set it on top of your computer, but uh, I think that's a minor detail in, in the big scope of what you're getting. Not to mention that anybody that is absolutely in a pinch can just use the free version of the app, deal with that small little watermark in the corner, and uh, just have a decrease in re resolution. And also for that $10, you're getting a webcam, which is better than basically any other webcam on the market because it's your iPhone's web webcam. It's your iPhone's camera that has been focused on in, in order to take high resolution pictures and videos. All right, without further ado, let's have a look at the app itself. So on the very first page here, we've got welcome to Epocam, Epo, Epocam. Um, and there's a couple of steps to follow for the setup. You'll, well, first step is you need to install a driver onto your computer in order to link your phone to whatever recording device you want to use, be it Zoom, Microsoft Teams, or OBS. In my case, I'll be using OBS. So yeah, step one, use that driver. So step two is to get connected. You'll want to connect your phone via two ways. Uh, first one would be through USB, the second way being through your Wi-Fi. So if you're gonna be going for a long stream, I'd probably plug it in. If it's just gonna be like a re quick recording, Wi-Fi should be more than enough. Step three is to give the app access to your camera, your microphone, and obviously your network, your Wi-Fi. And at the end of that, you're set to go. That's the only needs of this app. And I went ahead and did it myself already. So this basically gives me the freedom to move around, go wherever, give it a different perspective on whatever I have going on. And uh, as you can tell, the quality is significantly better than my webcam, or at least com comparable to a, about a $100 webcam. There's a couple different things you can do within the, within the app itself. So you have the button that can mute, the mute button. There is a button that'll well, flip, flip your camera around show what I'm looking at. A flash option, which is only available to, well, the back camera. Here. Turn that on and off. And then in the settings itself, you have 
you can choose your chroma, which I don't think it's active in this because I don't really have any other products to be using. But uh, you can change the quality of your stream. Fair, good, and best. Then you can change your connection from Wi-Fi to USB to NDI, which would, I guess would be like a lightning port on a Mac. And the final option, which I think is magnificent, is you can put a green screen behind yourself. So it is kind of choppy around the edges, but you kind of get the idea that it really... It really opens up options for what you can and can't do with this app. So let's move on back to the webcam. And there you have it. For just 10 bucks, you can have a full on webcam that is not bound to any sort of platform surface, anything. There's no wire, uh, unless I guess you choose to use one, but if you use the wireless, the Wi-Fi connection, you can walk around your room, your bedroom, your house, your apartment, your trailer, your porta potty whatever the case might be, and uh, show off whatever you're trying to, to talk about. I feel like it's going to really open up a couple different avenues for different streamers. Personally, I don't think I would need it, but... I know there are a few different streamers who who might not be able to afford a webcam that might appreciate an app like this. I hope this was informative. I hope this is something that other people might be excited about and uh, definitely a good step in the right direction for Elgato and Corsair. I just wanna thank everybody for stopping in and uh, leave a like and subscribe, it really helps. Have a good one. Bye.